in Brazil. She disrespected my family. And if you f with my family, you are f I want to beat this chick. I want to beat her in the most embarrassing way possible. Como pessoa, já mostrei que a Honda tem bastante fraquezas psicológicas. O momento da Honda passou, agora é o momento da Beth Correa. UFC 190 hits Brazil with the most dominant fighter in the world. You're the champ. That'll be. Undefeated champion, Ronda Rousey. You ready? Get on! It has taken her just 96 seconds total to defeat her last three opponents. Just like that! But this time, it's personal. I'm going to make sure that that girl does not leave looking the same way that she did walking in. Her opponent, Betch Correa, is undefeated as well. And the Brazilian native is not detracted by Rousey's aura. Você vai ser nocauteada e esse título vai ser meu e vou mostrar que você é apenas uma farsa. Nice, good. The card also includes a number of Brazilian legends. Mauricio Shogun Hua will face off against Antonio Rogério Nogueira in a rematch of a historic fight 10 years ago. And Rogério's brother Minotoro, who was once UFC heavyweight champion, will take on Dutch kickboxer Stefan Struve. Stay, that's a monster, dude. This is UFC 190 Countdown. Para mim, a Honda só é o começo. Obrigada, viu? Obrigada. Eu não tenho medo de lutar com ninguém. Pega essa Honda, meus fãs aqui, ó. Ela foi a campeã. Eu acho que a missão dela agora é outra coisa. Que ela se realize no que ela quiser. Agora eu acho que é a vez da Beth correr como campeã. UFC 190 will mark the biggest fight in Betch Correa's young career, tenfold. But Ronda Rousey has been training for championship fights since before Correa made her pro debut. This will be her eighth consecutive. Rousey is undeniably MMA's most transcendent star. And though she still trains inside a modest gym in Glendale, California, the atmosphere is certainly much different from when her title run began. Twisting to the side. She's really doing good stuff. Catch your bread. How difficult is it for her? I mean, she's been so dominant in recent fights. Let's go. It is because, you know, look, look, everybody's here. Look, all of us, we're here to see her. How, how do you stay focused on this if you're only a human being? How do you not say, I am the I am beautiful. I am a god. I'm not serious. Ready? 
and up. Go, go, straight, 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 straight. You have to love this. This is back-breaking work. Up. You can't be in this unless you love it, unless you're desperate. There has to be desperation of love, a desperation of dire straits. You have to love this stuff. And box. <laughs> Time. Amazing. You're done. All right, champion, John. Beautiful stuff. I'm gonna put this on. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I know you have no, a million and a half things to do. We've been talking about getting down here for a long time. <laughs> I enjoy watching the train. It's awesome. <laughs> Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> this, uh, no, this is looking weird now, huh? It's becoming strangely normal, actually. How do you feel about all this stuff um, sending on you? I, like, don't absorb it until uh, yeah. until after the fight. Like, after I win the fight, I'm like, oh, it's all awesome. But, like, until then, I kind of, like, try to turn it off. And it's crazy. Awesome. Like, I was totally... The but right after the fight, it was a whole bunch of stuff before the fight, during the fight. And then right after the fight, I may talk some stuff. On and then I just go home and... um. I said, just look in the mirror and look at myself. I can't believe I did this. Yeah. And look at the belt and stuff. May have a couple of stacks of money packed up. Just make sure <laughs> this is real, you know, because this doesn't yeah. seem real. This, this it's real. weird. Like the first moment alone at the end of the day is like in the bathroom. Yeah, alone. And then you look, yeah. look in the mirror like, what happened today? <laughs> yeah. That's, it's crazy. Yeah. But you're the champ. That'll be. Thank you. See you shortly. Yes, you will. After her high-profile morning training session, Rousey would head straight to downtown Los Angeles, where she would be named this year's best fighter and best female athlete. All in a day's work for the champ. All right, we're gonna pick teams now. Team Rousey, what do you want? Shayna. Jessamine. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Ultimate Fighter. The great thing about being on The Ultimate Fighter and being on Rhonda's team was that she, she really became a peer. Even though she was our coach, she was getting in on the rotations and, and training right alongside everyone. That's how you get the respect of your team and that's how you get a team to follow you. Other people could have got short-term gains, but I got the long-term gains because I got my team. After The Ultimate Fighter, Shayna Jessamine, Marina, my best friend, and I all lived in the same house for a while. We just stayed connected that way and became very close friends. <laughs> we all fit in such a way and complemented each other such a way that whoever's time it was to fight, the others sort of rallied around them and helped them in every way that we could. It's different than any other team that you might think of. It's really a sisterhood. So the fans started affectionately calling us the Four Horsewomen. Her nickname, the Pitbull, Betch Coheya. Me falar comigo que eu lutaria com a Jasmine assim. Eu sabia que ela era do time da Honda. Eu sabia que era a queridinha da Honda. Betch Coheya said of her opponent Jasmine Duke, she has the misfortune to fight me because I'm hungry for a piece of meat like a lion. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Women's Bantamweight Division. It certainly helps, without a doubt, to be around a woman like Ronda, see that kind of success, be just around a champion and get to train with them on a daily basis. You absorb some of that. Fight! Coheo, without a doubt, is doing some damage with those shots. You see the bruising all over the leg of Jessica Duke, inside and outside. Oh, nice spin. And she hit the spot right there. 
She has pretty close, Joe, to a two to one advantage in significant strikes land. The G Pitbull Correa. Eu tava lutando com a Justin já mirando na ronda. Que viu sua pupila levar uma surra. Daí fiz desse jeito, né? Baixei a, a, a primeira, né? Falta três. To me, was the biggest slap in the face. So uh, I text Sean Shelby, walking out of the ring. I actually said something really inappropriate about where I was going to take her four fingers and shove them. The Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Shayna, without a doubt, is one of the most experienced veterans in women's MMA today. Eight and O. Oh. In her professional career, she said, I didn't come here for joking. I want Ronda Rousey. Nice body shot, then the hook to the jaw. Nice knee in the body, nice uppercut as well. Beautiful elbows by Cohea. Good combination wow, by good Cohea shot. to the body. She's mixing up nice. Boom! Outstanding! Oh, nice right hand. Oh! She rocked her again. Big shot by the Brazilian. Oh, it is all over. Wow. Betch Cohea with very impressive stand-up defeats Shayna Baszler. Peguei a segunda cavaleira, a terceira não conta, é café com leite, por não ser do UFC. Então eu mirei o que eu queria. E eu desafio a Honda. A, tom, a tentar tirar minha invencibilidade. Eu vou lá você tá invicta. Big, big victory for Betch Cohea. Two of the four horsewomen down. After that fight, she had my attention. I talked to Dana and I said, I want to beat her in the most embarrassing way possible. I want to go down and beat her in her hometown. UFC 190. We'll be here in Brazil. My dad had a, a great saying when someone needed to be shown what's up. He would say that this person needs to have a come to Jesus meeting. And I'm happy to come down here and entertain you guys while I discipline this girl. Eu não vou deixar nenhuma mulher como eu, certo, chegar aqui na minha terra, na minha casa e querer bater em mim. Mas é, o que eu quero dar a Honda é um presente, que é saber o que é um, um soco pesado na cara, né? E then it got to the point where my book came out. I really wrote about my hardest days, and you know, I didn't try to make myself look like Miss Perfect America. I, I really wrote the, the truth. She started saying things that, like, I hope she doesn't go back to using drugs after I beat her and all these things, and I really just hope she doesn't kill herself. Ela usou palavras fortes comigo e eu usei com ela também. A Ronda, ela disse que eu ia ter um encontro com Jesus, disse que me humilhar no Brasil e eu não permito isso. It's a very well known and documented fact that my father killed himself. That's when it really crossed the line from being, okay, she's picking on my friends to get my attention, to she's disrespected the greatest tragedy that my family has ever gone through. It's not a, it's not a funny thing to laugh at, ever. And suicide is some serious. 
Gente, foi uma, uma expressão que eu usei muito típica. Eu uso direto, assim, ah, não se mate. I didn't know if I was more insulted by what she said or by the phony apology to save face. Vai, sobe com ela, sobe com ela. Hum, não sabia que tinha uma tragédia na família, senão não teria nem comentado sobre isso. É uma expressão muito brasileira, acho que fala tudo isso. I don't buy it at all. There's no way that she could know all those more obscure things about my life and not know about one of the most significant events that have ever happened in my life. There you go. And I don't forget things like that. I don't forgive things like that. I love it. And I'm lucky enough to be in the kind of profession where I can do something about things like that. Ela para de se esconder atrás da mídia. E bate realmente nas suas amigas, sim, mas eu não falei do seu pai, você sabe disso. Você é covardia se fazer de coitadinha. Chega disso, chega de fazer uma imagem de uma menininha, querer fazer imagem de uma menininha, de uma coitadinha, que você não é coitadinha. I'm going to make sure that that girl does not leave that cage looking the same way that she did walking in. I'm not finishing her quickly. I'm teaching her a lesson. And it's going to be a long and grueling lesson for her. For Ronda Rousey, the spotlight is a bit brighter each time she readies for a championship fight. But she has people close by to keep her grounded. Rousey's longtime head coach, Edmund Tarverdian, knows how to block out the talk of Sports Illustrated covers, awards, and summer blockbusters, and focus on the one thing he can control. Go for this camp is for Ronda to get better. Getting better in a way that if she has only a right hand in a fight, she win a world title with only one right hand. That's my goal, and that's how we train. Adequate training partners are scarce for Rousey, but for this camp, she has commissioned the services of IFBA super featherweight champion, Lizette Medell. I'll be honest, out of 10 sparring partners, nine of them at least get dropped in the gym. She could take the shots. What I love about her is how calm she is. A lot of the, the girls that I fight, they don't have that calmness, and so they, they don't take shots as well. Touch and dig and deep. Touch, touch, dig. Touch, touch, dig. She helps me prepare for that opponent who doesn't have that, this is the fight of my life, panicky mode. And so if I'm ready to deal with her, I'm ready to deal with anyone. A Ronda é uma mulher como eu, como qualquer outra. Todas as adversárias de Ronda, primeiro, são intimidadas pela Ronda. Eu sou a mais dangerosa, unarmada mulher do mundo. Ela é a melhor. Chegam com tudo demais e acabam entrando também. Um, um, uma coisa que eu observo é que entram na zona de conforto da Ronda. É tudo sobre! Ela tapa! Eu já vi o que aconteceu com as outras meninas. And a big throw down. That's it. Just like that. Are you kidding me? Eu, eu não tô caindo nisso. Fetch Korea. She's undefeated. I'd like to take that O away from her. Eu não caio em pilha. Se prepare que você vai pegar de primeiro de agosto a adversária mais dura que você já pegou na sua vida. E vou mostrar que você é apenas uma farsa. Você nunca, nunca lutou com alguém com tanta raça que deixou uma vida, um mundo, por esse título. This fight with Beth Coelho brings all different kinds of pressure. She's undefeated. That's no joke. But also in the sense of 
honor. Rhonda is vindictive. She does not forget. It's not gonna be about the title anymore, it's personal. Eu não vou deixar esse, eu sair como errada. Tem muita gente me julgando, me acusando por algumas coisas que eu falei, por algumas coisas que eu fiz, mas eu fiz tudo por um sonho. É, e vai ser o sonho de vocês também, a primeira mulher brasileira sendo campeã mundial aqui dentro de casa. Eu prometi ao povo brasileiro, eu prometi à minha família que esse título eu vou trazer. E eu sei que eu sou a campeã, eu tenho um espírito de campeã. Se eu conseguir não catechar ela no primeiro round, que eu vou lutar para ganhar o primeiro round. A minha mãe disse algo assim na linha, ela me olhou e disse, Grow up. Eu sou a campeã. E, sabe o que? Eu acho que meu pai teria dito a mesma coisa.